Greetings wonderful people, my name is Awan, and this is my Huawei Game Jam entry. The theme was Intentional Bugs, and I made a clicker called Devlum, in which you can touch basically anything, including the numbers on the screen. The goal of the game is to find that one hidden button that will provide you with correct score, and the hint to it is right in the center of the game. I don't want to spoil too much, because the game was made in one day and it is extremely short. Try it out yourself! In this video, I'll show you the progress behind its development. Now this is how my Huawei Game Jam started. And no, that isn't Devlum. My first attempt at the jam's theme was some sort of a trippy 2D walking simulator. At the beginning, I wanted to make the levels out of random objects, much like Bennett thought is getting over it, and the players would search for some collectibles that change the way levels look, by replacing these objects. Then, during prototyping, I realized that the game could be better if I just made random objects fly on the screen in various directions, and to move forwards the player would have to step on them and never on anything outside of their perimeters. Basically the floor is lava. I soon understood that it was too close to being a Flappy Bird clone, like those flying helicopters, and I abandoned the idea. The second prototype was a tower defense. I wanted the turrets to behave in unexpected ways. For example, this one would start spinning around itself. I'm glad that I managed to create one unintentional bug that made it so that deleting towers wasn't actually destroying them, and you could place more of them on top, which I think looks pretty cool. Also, I just find fiddling with waypoints to be pretty interesting. However, I quickly found out that making this type of a game wasn't something I could finish with the limited time I had. And that's approximately how I ended up with only one spare day to make a game, even though the jam was 3 days long. I started making Devlum by implementing ever-changing coin types. I initially wanted currencies to change after each few clicks the player made, and together with the coin I wanted to change the requirements to get it. After that I made some mock-up of how I wanted the clickable area to look like, and programmed the particle that would appear upon clicking it. After that, I added the second clickable button and made it so that sometimes you'd need negative score to proceed in the game. Finally, I implemented the hints that represent what you should click, and a button that changes the appear of a card, turns light on and off in this case. The one thing I'm really proud of is that during this game jam I prototyped with trash art without getting to the polish stage too early which allowed me to make three different options and I still ended up with one more or less finished game. If you'd like to give Devlum a try, the link will be in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more similar content from me in the future. And I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.